Welcome back to Thoroughfare and this is a brief history of the Keighley and Worth Valley Railway. The railway was a popular idea throughout the 19th century with a group of interested parties all getting involved. This group included a surveyor who made plans for the line. Midland provided a cost estimate for the line of £36,000 and agreed to operate the line for 50% of the receipts. The newly formed railway company, Keighley and Worth Valley Railway Company, went about sending out for tenders. Many responded, 10 companies to be exact, but they accepted a tender from John Metcliffe for an estimated cost of £21,940. The railway at the same time received parliamentary approval, with construction duly starting. The line ran along the Worth Valley from Keighley Old Station, passing under Ingrow Road in the tunnel and getting over the holding reservoir on a wooden trestle bridge to get to Haworth. From Haworth it ran, to, ran and terminated at Oxenhope. The line was open to the public on the 15th of April 1867, late. As Metcliffe had failed to employ enough workers, the Ingrow Tunnel had to be strengthened and freak weather caused mass damage with 40 foot of embankment washed away, all causing delay to this opening. The Keighley Worth Valley Railway Company invoked the contract of the tender, gaining around £6,000 in damages, but the final cost of construction was around £105,000, in much excess of the original estimate from Midland of £36,000. The line operated several decades with some major issues, but also with some major success until the line was closed by British Railways in 1961 for passengers and in 1962 for freight. A preservation society formed to try to preserve the railway, even providing some maintenance along the line, and a new company was to operate. The Keighley and Worth Valley Light Railway Company negotiated with BR and they were long and difficult, but eventually in 1967 it was agreed that the new company would buy the line for £45,000 and lease the use of Platform 4 at Keighley Station. The line was the first in the UK to be privatised and quickly proved it was a success as British Rail withdrew their steam trains, making them much sought attraction. Then in 1971, the current passing loop was added and the railway continues to be a great success. 